Right, Grade 12 learners, welcome back to our special session where we are going through the September CAT PRAC paper and we are going to look now at and go through question number two. So we did question one, that was okay. Um, that was worth, let me see, 27 marks. So you should have at least gotten 20 out of those 27 and the next one is worth about 17 marks. So let's go through this. And they're saying a registration form has been created for the attendees to fill in and email to the registration office. Open the to underscore registration form word processing document and modify the document as follows. So let's go and find this document to underscore registration form. And there we go. Okay, so here we are. This is what our document looks like and we can already see There'll probably be a couple of things that we need to do here. So let's go back to our question paper. Let me see where is that. Right. So 2.1 says set the top and the bottom margins to one centimeter. So let's go. Where do we go to? We go to layout. We go to margins. And if there's nothing, you know, in the uh, default options over here, please go down to custom margins. And they want us to set the top and the bottom to one centimeter each. Okay. One centimeter. Click OK. And it's done. All right. So there's my first mark. Second one. Insert a double line page border for the page. Right. Where do I um, get my page borders from? Well, if I go to design, have a look right at the end. I've got page borders. I can click on that. And is there a particular design, a double line page border? So let's just choose any box over here. They want a double line. So we're going to go through our styles. There's a double line. They didn't say anything about color, people. I'm just going to use a color so we can see. I'm going to adjust the thickness as well. And there you can see a preview of what has to happen. Now, this is important for the page, not for the whole document. So apply to now because it's only one page <laughs> saying apply to the whole document it really doesn't matter but because of the specific instruction that says for the page um, you want to say for this page only it doesn't really matter if you say whole document because there is only one page to this but you know what better safe than sorry okay so we click OK and there is our page border right so that's done everything is good so far center the picture and apply a soft edge oval picture style. So obviously centering the pictures one mark, applying a soft edge oval picture style is the second mark. All right, so let's go up. This is the picture that they're talking about. And when I click on that, look at what happens here on picture tools. I've got picture format that opens up. These options are specifically for this picture. So we're gonna go into picture styles and you can see as I move my mouse pointer over there, um, I've got different options. So there's a soft edge rectangle, but what did they say? Soft edge oval. Okay, so we're going to go through there's oval. No, it's not that one. Let's look. Ah, here we go. Soft edge oval. So I click on that already. I've got one mark. The next thing they said was to center the picture. So under picture format, I can go over to position over here. This is under arrange. Again, I've got alignment, but we're going to go to position and I'm going to go to center. So if it does that, please, um, you can just move everything down. So you can move those options down there or that whole paragraph and then put your picture into the center. Right. So there we have our picture in the center and having a soft edge oval picture style. Next one, set the text form field. So let's go down. This is the form area here. Set the text form field for the title, which is this over here. They want us to change that so that when people put in information, it's a maximum length of four, so four characters, and the text format to uppercase. So when people type in information over here, it'll always display in uppercase. At the moment, we can see, I'm just putting in there, I can obviously, I'm typing in um, small letters, but what do they want? They want me to format that okay so what you're going to do is you're going to right click on that gray area and you're going to go down to properties this dialog box will then come up okay so what did they ask us to do 
maximum length to 4. Is there something that says maximum length? Yes, there's maximum length. It says unlimited, but we're going to click on that little up arrow and go over to 4. So we've done that. Text format to uppercase. Is there something that says text format? Yes, it is. Do we have an option that says uppercase? Yes, we do. So we click on that and we've done both those options and we click OK. People, you don't have to go and type in and test it out. You've changed the properties. It's done. Let's look at the next one. Modify the drop down form field for gender over here. So again, I'm just going to right click in and go to properties. What do they want me to do? They want me to include male and female as choice options and add a help message for accommodation purposes on help text. So let's look at the first one, male and female as choice options. So remember, what did, what did I do? I right click on the gray area next to gender and went to properties. Okay. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a drop down item. So I'll type it in here under drop down item and I click add. And then I type in the next one and I click add. Okay. So when I click OK, you see there what should happen? I should have those options. Okay. Then they wanted me to add, um, oh, add help text. What did they say? Add help message for accommodation purposes. Right. So I'm going to add help text. And I must type my own, right? Because there's nothing there that actually gives me that option. And they said for accommodation purpose. Is that right? For accommodation purposes. And I'm going to click OK. Right? So, folks, that's it for me um, giving those particular options. So, I've done that there now. Then modify the horizontal hierarchy. So now they want me to mess with this. Okay, they want me to change something here. And they want me to, well, we can see here we've got digital literacy, basic, intermediate, keyboarding, parts of the computer, budget. That's what they've got there, but this is what they want it to look like. So again, we need to um, make our document look exactly like that. So one of the first things we're going to do is I'm going to click on intermediate. Um, if this box doesn't pop up, people just click on the arrow over here. It'll then pop up. You can resize that. And that's fine. So I'm just going to click in here with intermediate and I'm going to hit enter. You'll see what that does. It opens up another bullet point on the left. But um, in my diagram, it actually opens up another box. And here I can type in advanced. Okay. You'll see now also budget has moved from intermediate to advanced. Okay. But we're going to deal with that shortly so i've closed that and i've got digital literacy is that correct yes basic intermediate advanced is that correct yes now we go on to the last column so we see that keyboarding and parts of the computer is part of the basic course basic keyboarding parts of the computer bingo that's 100 correct then we've got intermediate and intermediate should have the budget and then advanced must have coding and internet Okay, so let's go and look at that. Again, we click on our um, particular image, our diagram. We click on our arrow here. I'm just going to resize it again. And I'm now going to take, I'm going to take budget out here. Okay, the reason for that is I'm going to put in uh, coding. And then I'm going to hit enter. And the other one is internet. So I'm going to go internet. Now, if I go to intermediate, so please have a look now. Basic is correct. Advanced is correct. The problem is intermediate. But when I press enter with intermediate, look where it wants to create another um, item in my diagram. So if I don't want it there, okay, I can hit tab. You see what it does? See what tab does? As it moves that point over, it moves where something should be added. And here I can then add budget. And now when I look at my diagram, and I'm just going to zoom in here. Sorry, let me just click outside. Right. Digital literacy course, basic, intermediate, advanced. Digital literacy, basic, intermediate, and advanced. Do I have keyboarding and parts of the computer to basic? Yes, I do. Do I have budget only to intermediate? Yes, I do. 
Do I have coding and internet to advance? Yes, I do. And there everything is sorted. Okay, so I hope you're still with me. Last two, locate the text insert here, which is this over here. And insert the PDF benefits digital literacy PDF as an embedded file and the file must show as an icon. Okay, so let's click over here. Um, we're now going to go to insert. We're going to go all the way over to object. And we're going to say object. So object and then object. Um, do you want to create a new one? No, you don't. Okay, you want to take something that's already in existence. So we click on create from file. We're going to go browse and we're going to go and look for that particular file. And there it is, benefits digital literacy. And we need to put a link to that file. And we want to display it as an icon. There you can see what it's going to look like. And I click OK. So what should happen now, boom, there we go. I can even take this insert here wording out. And now when somebody goes there and they double click on it, what's going to happen? It's going to link them to the original file and it's going to open up benefits digital literacy. Okay, so that's how we've got that. There you can see the PDF opens. Okay, so that's sorted out. Last thing, add the text registration form in the footer of the document. Right align the text. So we want to add a footer. Where are we going to go to? Well, same tab. We're going to go insert. And we're going to go footer. Right align. So we want to put it. So let's see over here. Let's just use one of these so that it's already on the right hand side. And... We wanted to say a registration form. Registration form. And we can take the rest out if we don't want it. And close header and footer. And there we have our footer. So remember what we've done? We've done the page border, the margins, the picture. We've um, fiddled around with the properties here where you're going to be entering information. Um, we've dealt with our diagram we've inserted our pdf and we've changed the footer and folks that's your 17 marks for question number two of your september cat i'm going to see you when we do question number three